Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal and this is This Provincial Life. Today I'm going to be doing the intimidating TBR tag. So without further ado, let's just get going. The first prompt is what book have you be, have you tried to read but have been unable to finish? And that is The First 15 Lives of Harry August by Claire North. Now this book so intrigues me. And I think I've started it like three times and I've never gotten past where my bookmark is right there. This one does have a little bit more thinking to it and and it's it's definitely a slow burn and I just I haven't been able to finish it yet and I'm going to. It's going to happen because I do like it. It's just I it kind of fizzles out a lot quicker and I forget about it. What book have I not read because of time? And that is Wild Beauty by Anne-Marie McElmore and this book I started before the readathon and I was really enjoying it. I literally got like 84% of the way through um, on the ebook and then the readathon started and for whatever reason I decided not to pick it back up and now I just haven't finished it and I need more time. I needed more time before the readathon started. Wild Beauty is all about a a group of women that live in this garden and they have the ability to grow uh, gardens really really well really immaculately and it's very creepy in its atmosphere because as the story starts to unravel you start to understand like why they have these abilities and and what is happening in order for these abilities to happen and I was really enjoying it and so hopefully I can finish it and I can talk about it more. What book have I not yet read because it is a sequel and to be perfectly honest I don't read a ton of series but one that I've recently read that I found out is part of a series I don't know if it's a companion series but I'm counting it because it's it's my life you can't tell me what to do I just recently read Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welch and she has a second book in that type of world. I don't know if it's a companion book. I just saw it when I was at the bookstore and was like, oh, I didn't know that was a thing. And it's called Love and Luck. And I'm really excited to pick it up. It's one that I would love to read and hopefully it's as sweet as Love and Gelato is. What book have you not read because it's brand new? And that is Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adeyemi. And this is um, a pretty awesome epic story that I'm not gonna tell you too much about because I'm not gonna go into it knowing a lot and I don't want you guys to do either. But I do know that um, it has won a lot of people's hearts. What book have I not read because I read a bo another book from that same author and didn't enjoy it? And this is Neil Gaiman. So just like anything by Neil Gaiman, sometimes I love him and sometimes I don't. And I can't get through his books. And so I'm, I'm very hesitant to pick up his books because it's either like I'm going to absolutely love it and I can't wait to reread it or it's not going to hit the spot and I didn't enjoy it. And so for instance, I've read The Ocean at the End of the Lane, and then I've also read Coraline, and I loved both of them, but then I picked up American Gods, and it just wasn't my cup of tea, and I, I put it down really quickly. I think I got like 30 pages in and just knew it wasn't for me, and I didn't want to read it, and it's kind of put me off from his other series that I'm interested in, because I am interested in Neverwhere. Um, by him but I, I just don't feel like I'm gonna pick it up because I really was not impressed by the American Gods. What book is on my TBR because I just picked it up and wasn't in the mood for it. It's The Storyteller by Jodi Picou. Um, I've never read one of her books before and I really would love to. I picked this up once and it just I wasn't in the mood. What book have I yet to read because it's ginormous? There's a ton, to be perfectly honest. War and Peace, I've always wanted to read War and Peace. Anna Karenina, basically any classic that's like huge. I'm already reading a ton for school and I just, I don't want to. I don't want to. What book 
have you not read because it was a cover buy and then you heard it had really bad ratings on Goodreads. A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray? Claudia White? Yeah, Claudia Gray by Claudia Gray. And I read A Thousand Pieces of You. I wasn't that impressed, but I just loved the cover of A Thousand Pieces of You. And it was just so pretty. I love bright colors. I love like kind of that abstract element to it, but then it also has that realistic element. And I just loved it. And so when, and then, I wanted to pick up the second one, but I just, I couldn't because I just didn't feel like the first one was good enough to even warrant me picking it up, even though those covers are absolutely gorgeous. So the last question that I'm going to be answering is what is the most intimidating book on my TBR? And that is Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson, which if you can see, I'm currently reading right now. Aren't you proud that I'm doing hard things. The last question is who do I tag and I'm going to cop do like the cop out of this and it's like if you haven't done this tag and you want to like go ahead and do it because I wasn't tagged by anybody and I'm my own person. I don't need someone else's permission to tell me what to do. I am my own person. Dang it. And so if you haven't done it and you want to do it go ahead and consider yourself tagged. You're it. Ha! Hopefully you guys got some good insight on what my TBR is like right now. And hopefully you guys are having a great time reading. And keep it up. Bye!